was just having a look at the weather app here on my phone. Uh, at the moment, don't be fooled by this sunshine because this particular area is gonna turn pretty nasty for the next couple of days. I've just spent the night in Swansea, just down the road here. And it's a, it's a beautiful place here. I'm just looking at the uh, spiky bridge here, which is a convict built bridge. And a lot of buildings around here are built by the convicts way back in the day. But today, I'm gonna to bite the bullet and take the long drive to the Mount Field National Park. Why am I doing that? Because, well, according to my app here, it's gonna be clear skies there for the next two nights. And for those of you who know Tasmania at all, that western part of the state doesn't get clear nights all that much. So I'm gonna take the risk and drive all that way. It's a fair drive from here and see if I can capture some night skies over there. Along the way, I'm gonna check out some of these historic monuments, etc. because I've never been here before and I reckon that they're well worth seeing. Anyway, let's go. Oh man, oh man, just have a look at this little beauty. Now I have to give another shout out to another fantastic Australian landscape photographer. Brett Wood uh, showed me on the map where this little old boat shed is located, not far from where I am staying down at Swansea. And it is just magnificent. What a beautiful old stone structure it is. Perfect spot for photography. My problem is I'm heading hundreds of k's away from here and I'm not going to be here tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to get back here at night time. But boy oh boy, this would be perfect for a light painting. So uh, it's certainly marked on my radar, on my map. And um, if I can get back here, this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to be shooting. Now this would be an absolutely magnificent angle for when the Milky Way is low down in that western sky facing along this way because I love how the, the bank comes up onto the side of the building there. Like I said, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be here anytime soon. Whether I get back here, I'm not sure. As you can see, the weather's starting to close in. I've gotta run away from this weather, but what a beautiful place this is. I just love this stuff. somewhere. Oh, there it is. At the roundabout, take no. the first exit to High Street. Oh, be quiet. Man, there's nothing like having a fight with a GPS. They drive you crazy sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to the supermarket. All right, a few supplies to keep me going. Well, I've just stopped off here in this little town for lunch. Um, probably about three quarters of an hour away from the Mount Field National Park. And well, it was very gloomy, but the sun is trying to peek out. So I guess that brings me back to uh, some of the things that I talk about a lot, which is you gotta take a risk sometimes. I've traveled a fair way just to get here and um, if the weather forecast isn't accurate, then that's an awful long way to come for clouds. I've already come from where there's plenty of clouds. But anyway, 
Um, I'm confident. It's only about midday. I've got plenty of time. In the meantime, I'm going to sit down and have something to eat for lunch, and then I'll be on my way. I'll tell you what, it's worth just wandering around these gorgeous little Tasmanian country towns. This is just beautiful. Gorgeous. It's cold. It's actually really cold here today. It's about 9 degrees, so that's a far cry from the 21 degrees I came from a couple of days ago. But that's what I was expecting over here in Tasmania. Wow, this is just a beautiful place. There's mountains all around. That's where I'm heading. Can't wait. Wow, just have a look at the view down there. Mountains, as far as you can see. I think I've made the right decision to come all the way over to this part of Tasmania for the next day or so. Look at this sky, it's just sunshine everywhere. It's fantastic. Well, I can't count my chickens yet because it's only about three o'clock in the afternoon. I've got a long way to go. But anyway, look, I'm getting excited. Now this location isn't quite right for me because I'm actually facing, that's more facing north. I need to be able to face down this way. There's way too many trees here, so I'm gonna keep going. See what I can find. Just have a look at that. This is the stunning Sentinel Range in southwest Tasmania. It just stretches right across the landscape here. Now this is going to be a perfect location for shooting nightscapes tonight. Look at this weather, it is just magnificent. So this is what I've been hoping for. And it looks like the weather forecast was actually spot on. So the sun is quite low down over the top of that mountain over there. Setting over there in the west, there's a gap over there which it's going to set. There's only a few clouds in the sky here, not much at all. So, look, I think it's going to be an awesome location here. There's mountain ranges everywhere. Just down there a little bit, there's a hill, a raised elevated platform, if you like, where I can set my tripod there and take some shots across there. I mean, it's massive, I can't miss it. So I'll, I'll do all sorts of different uh, types of compositions here. But at the moment, I'm just going to soak in the view because it is absolutely phenomenal. Well, I've got to tell you, I'm absolutely delighted in this location here. So much so, I'm going to have a cup of tea because it's been a few hours since I've had one. And the sun's, it is beautiful. Look, it's actually uh, about six degrees Celsius. The sun's on me, so it feels beautiful. I've got no doubt tonight's going to get very, very cold. So um, anyway... Look, I'll worry about that later on. At the moment, let's have a cuppa. Okay, so my first part of this adventure is to set this camera up. It's a Nikon Z6 with a, a Lauer 15 mm f2 lens, and I'm gonna shoot a day to night time-lapse. So the Milky Way core is gonna come up just to the left of these Sentinel Ranges here. There's some other mountains there in the background. So. I think it's going to look pretty good. I wish there was a little bit more cloud just at the moment. I want the cloud to disappear, but for time-lapse, I always like to have clouds in the shot. Now, 
Um, I've got a couple of other accessories here. Firstly, I've got a Serp Genie Mini, a little rotating time-lapse base here, which I'm going to set so that it moves slowly from right to left. And my intention for that, that is to just give it a little bit of motion into the shot, but not only that, it's also to follow the Milky Way as it comes up over this way. I'm not sure how much daylight I've got left. Um, so a day to night time lapse needs some daylight, of course, to work. Anyway, I've got some other accessories here. Firstly, I've got a lens warmer. It's gonna get very cold tonight. There is a bit of breeze, but I don't trust it. So I'm gonna put a lens warmer on. The other thing I've got is, uh, well, it's a battery operated lens warmer. I've got this little pouch for the battery. So it's a USB lens warmer. Uh, oops, <clears throat> gee, it's very wet and boggy here. USB powered lens warmer. So that should last for quite a long time. It's not a, a nice big one. The other thing I've got in my hand here is hand warmers. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna use that on the battery to keep the battery a little bit better as it's powering the lens warmer, or somehow, I don't think I can rig it up onto the camera because the other problem I'll have, of course, with the camera is that it's gonna, um, because it's so cold, it mightn't go as long as I want it to. I'd love it to go for five hours, I've done some experiments and got five hours out of these, but I don't think it's gonna last that long. So I might be, have to be happy with about four hours. I'd be happy with that, to be honest. So anyway, I'm gonna set it up. The Genie Mini is a, is a little device. I'm gonna put it actually into video mode, not move, shoot, move for time-lapse. I, I prefer that. I can set it to pan very slowly across the horizon here and it's so slow you can't see it moving. And of course with the shutter speeds, which will be probably, well, it's gonna be in aperture priority mode. The maximum shutter speed will be, I think 15 seconds, although, look, it's pitch black here. I, I, there's no light. I, I wish there was a touch of moonlight, but there isn't any. So I'm just gonna to have to make do with what I've got. I might even go as far as 20 seconds because I'll get away with that with the time lapse. but we'll just wait and see. I'll set it up now and we'll see. Okay, it's a delicate operation getting all of this set up correctly. What I've done is I've set the camera to shoot 850 frames with an 18 second interval. So what that means is it's gonna shoot uh, about 15 second shutter speeds with about a three second interval. Now I'm putting the camera into aperture priority mode. So it's doing it automatically because it's day to night. A lot of you are gonna say, oh, that doesn't work for, for nightscape an Astro time-lapse. Well, I found with these Nikon Z6s, it works an absolute treat. They do a fantastic job. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, and if you do the mathematics, that works out to four and a quarter hours. So I think I'm gonna set it for that. I don't think I'm gonna get much more than four and a quarter hours out of all of this stuff. Even the Mini, it's battery powered, so it might run out as well because it's gonna get very cold. So I've got my lens warmer on, uh, but I'm not gonna plug that in until a bit later because I don't need it at the moment. As I said, there's a bit of a breeze, which is probably a good thing as far as that goes. Um, I got my camera tripod nice and secure here. Um, the scene looks a treat. I've just got to wait a little bit longer and I'll get it running. This tripod isn't what I'd exactly call the most rigid that I've got. Uh, it's a cheaper brand, but I'm using better ones over for other things. But um, look, I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's not overly windy at the moment. If it gets really windy later, I'll come back and, and just see what's going on with it because I'm not going to be too far away. Um, anyway, let's get moving. Well, I've got to have a bit of a laugh, you know. There's a real trend at the moment with all of these landscape photographers around the world customising vans and, and campers and all sorts of things so that they can go on the road shooting their photography. Well, here you go. This is my rig. This is the Subaru Outback and it's got everything I need. Believe me, it's got everything I need. It's my sleep in bed. It's got my bag. It's got my camera bag. I've got half a dozen camera bags. I've got a rooftop box up there. Probably at some stage in one of these videos, I'll go through the whole setup of my car. But one thing I can tell you, um, up until Tonight, I haven't needed to use any blankets. I brought a heap of blankets with me because I know how cold it can get down here in Tasmania. It's good woolen blankets. Well, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna get them out tonight 
because it's already cold. And I'll tell you what, when I go to bed later, and it's going to be fairly late, oh, I'm going to have to warm myself up somehow. Anyway, it's still not dark, but oh, it's beautiful. It's just calm, hardly any wind. It's a perfect night for shooting nightscapes. Well, I successfully made it through the night. Absolutely freezing. Uh, it's zero degrees. In fact, it may have got under zero degrees. All of the puddles around here are frosted over. But as you can see, the sun's out. So now it's beautiful and warm again. Uh, it's about half past eight in the morning. So I slept in. Uh, I slept really well, uh, considering the temperature. So my woolen blankets in the, in the car worked really well. So. I captured some wonderful images last night. I'm really wrapped with them. The clouds came in at about oh, half past 10, 11. So um, sort of put an end to my shooting, but that was okay because um, I was pretty happy with what I'd already had by that stage. But anyway, look, I'm just having a cuppa this morning, enjoying the view because it's magnificent. Look at that, just love it. I'm gonna do a bit of a research down the road here, but I might just leave this video here and uh, say thanks very much for watching i appreciate your time my road trip continues and today i think i might go and have a look at some lakes so anyway we'll see what eventuates with that look forward to catching you next time take it easy see you then <laughs>